Hi, I'm Mark Marino, and I'd like to bring you in for a little sneak peek into my garage for a renovation I'm doing on my 150-year-old house. And this is my part of my detached garage, which will end up being my future office for everything that I do for Awaken Your Wellness now. And I'm just checking you out and see I put some new windows in there and I'm reframing out. And you know, when you're working on an old house, you never know what you're going to find when you open the walls up and have to redo things because very often you have to. And this is no exception. So this is the future area of my office and I'll keep you updated on its progress. So today I'd like to talk to you about mindset. Now, our mindset is a way of thinking that determines our outlook and our attitude in life. And if you have the right mindset or a positive mindset, it can enhance all areas of your life. But the challenge comes in when you get caught in what I call a negative mindset loop. And what happens is you have a negative bias in certain areas of your life, whether it has to do with past traumatic events or something that's going on in your life right now, whether it has to do with your job or a relationship or any other area of your life. And we have a negative bias and we have a tendency to not move forward in these areas of our life. And it gives us a challenge and a difficulty. So today I'm going to talk about why mindset matters most. Napoleon Hill said, our only limitations are those we set up in our own mind. So when you're caught in a negative mindset loop, you start to have a negative bias about everything that happens in your life. You have a belief system that says, I don't deserve to be happy or I don't deserve to do well in this area. And you have a tendency to focus on the I can't and I could never and I don't believe that I could be happy in this area. Or I'll just be happy when I get to this point. You know, when I work with people, I talk about finding clarity and having choice and commitment and being present in the moment and being solution oriented. But first I focus on developing your mindset because if you first develop what I call a proactive positive mindset, then everything else starts to move forward. Now, Steve Maraboli said, once you change your mindset, everything on the outside will start to change as well. So if you're stuck in that negative mindset loop and you have a negative bias towards any area of your life, whether it has to do with something you're going through right now or a past traumatic event or past traumatic events for that matter, we have to first focus on your mindset and start focusing on developing a positive, proactive mindset. So that will put you in a better frame of reference to move forward from there. Let's talk about setting goals, for instance. If you're setting goals and you're stuck in a negative mindset loop, what's going to happen is you're going to set goals that are not going to work out. You're going to set goals like, oh, I'd like to lose weight, or uh, maybe someday I'll find a new job, or I'd really like to change this aspect of my life. But see, if you go from a negative bias, it's not going to happen because you're not in the right frame of mind. But the interesting thing about mindset is our mindset is developed from our past thoughts and beliefs about ourselves. So the cool thing is that you can change it from now forward. But the first step is recognizing that you have this negative bias and that you're stuck in this negative mindset loop. And once you recognize it, that's the key. So the key is to flip the switch from having a negative mindset or being caught in a negative mindset loop and switching to what I call a positive proactive mindset is recognizing the recognition that you are caught in this loop. So once you recognize it, then you can start to work on it. And as with most things, the recognition is the key. And it's the awareness that you are there and that you can work on it. And focusing on things like, instead of saying, I can't, you say, I can. And saying, instead of things that I would never, you say, I will. Instead of asking questions like, why am I in so much pain or why is this happening to me? Start to ask the question, how can I make this better? How can I improve? How can I improve my relationship? How can I improve my work situation? If it's a past traumatic event, that event has happened to you already. Instead of why did this happen to me, recognize that this happened to me and how can I move forward? If you have chronic pain and you're focusing on why do I have so much pain, start to focus on how can I improve my wellness? How can I feel better? How can I move forward and reach my goals? So the key is switching switching from that negative mindset and it may take you a little while so it may be switching from negative to neutral and then neutral to positive and develop the ability to say i can instead of i can the ability to change to i will instead of i never could 
Thomas Jefferson said, nothing can stop the man with a positive mental attitude, but nothing in the world can help a man with a negative mental attitude. So if you're stuck in that negative mindset loop, you'll have a negative bias towards everything you look at. But if you recognize it and you become aware of it and you start to flip that mindset to a positive one, then everything on the outside will start to change. You see, happiness has to do with your mindset, not with your outside circumstances. We're always going to have things happen to us. There are always going to be challenges in life. But the difference is, is how you react to those challenges. Will you have a negative mindset and a negative bias? Or will you say, okay, this has happened. This is the situation. This is how I will deal with it. And this is how I will get through with it. And by developing this positive mindset, you'll start to see that it becomes a habit. Now, just like a negative mindset loop, you can start to switch this and develop a positive mindset loop. And as I said before, your mindset is a way of thinking that determines your outlook or attitude. So now when you develop a positive mindset loop, this is when you set your goals. This is when you find clarity on what you want. And then you'll start to see, let's say it's a relationship. Then you're focused on having a positive relationship with communication and love. If it has to do with your job, you focus, how can I make the, my job the best it can possibly be? And if I can't, how do I move forward and maybe possibly change my job? If it has to do with a past traumatic event, the event has happened. How do I deal with that event? I don't forget it. How do I accept that it's happened and move forward? So recognizing, becoming aware that you're in this negative mindset loop and that you have a negative bias towards certain aspects of your life is the primary key because once you recognize it and once you're aware, you can start to focus on and work on having a positive mindset. And as you move forward, this positive mindset will start to enhance all areas of your life, not only the areas that you're having challenges in. And as you move forward, you will start to recognize when this negative mindset or negative bias starts to pop up. If that negative bias starts to come up again, you can squash that down. Instead of saying, I can't, you'll say, I can. Instead of saying, why me? You'll say, how can I move forward? So if you're having a tough time now and you're stuck in this negative mindset loop and you, you recognize that you have a negative bias towards some aspect of your life, I want you to know that you can move forward, that there are other people that have gone through what you're going through, that there's help out there, that you can move forward from where you are now and you can reach the goals that you set for yourself. Well, I hope this information helped you out and hope you enjoyed the beautiful backdrop of my construction area here. And if you're seeing this video anywhere else other than my blog, go check my blog out at awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash blog. Have a great day, and as always, be positive, be motivated, be focused, and be well.